demo. Yeah, give me a minute. Give me a minute, I'm gonna go do a video, okay? Stay right there. Stay. Stay calm. And party on. So this video is going to be about the uh, Gladiator, uh, the tow vehicle that I use to uh, tow, the vehicle that I use to tow the Airstream. Um, it's, uh, it's 2020 Jeep Gladiator, it's silver, Rubicon, uh, got it uh, two years ago Thanksgiving, so about two years ago the week, uh, week this is being uh, posted, so I'll do my best to... Uh, talk about all the modifications, uh, detail some of the things I've done to it, um, upgrades, I guess you could call them upgrades, and uh, and all that. So um, enjoy. Oh yeah, by the way, the, uh, a lot of the video I did um, for the walk around was outside. Um, the wind picked up again and I got really noisy crappy audio because apparently I don't know how to use the recorder I bought. So. I'll be doing some overdub. Uh, some of the stuff inside the truck is not bad. I'll use that as I shot it, but a lot of it, uh, the first part, is going to be overdub. Hello, and welcome to Procrastination Station, my home and YouTube channel. So one of the first things I did was uh, put the tires and wheels on it and then uh, did the lift kit. Um, there it is with my Wrangler. Took it over to Buddy's house. He's had a really big garage, a lot of tools. He was able to help me <coughs> do the lift kit in his garage. Took us two days and uh, I think it turned out real good. Looks really good on those tires and wheels. Um, of course, uh, the 37 inch tires fit really nice, got a teeny bit of rubbing, spare tire fits right in a spare tire spot. Um, it's a snug fit but it fits right up in there, not a problem. Um, got the rock crawler uh, 3 inch lift featured by uh, Light Bright on their uh, Gladiator build. It uh, turns the rear end into a triangulated system, gives you tons and tons of uh, articulation. Um, of course, before I had the trailer travels in mind, I uh, I wheeled the pee out of it. Um, took it to Moab. That's uh, Poison Spider Trail, and uh, had a lot of good fun out there with my buddy Mark. He's got a YouTube channel on here, Cosmo Fox Off Road. Need to check him out. He's got some good stuff. Um, this trail was. Uh, supposed to be rated difficult I think but it's actually pretty easy um, trying to make the turn there uh, I had the lockers on and kind of bound up so I had to back up a bit but not was it really no issue wasn't an issue with the Wrangler either did a lot of uh, YouTube videos or video watching to figure out what line to take and how to navigate it Yeah, it took some drone footage the other morning when it's uh, nice and not windy yet. Um, still learning how to use the drone. It uh, it takes a while. If you don't use it all the time and you don't play with it a lot, it uh, it can be tricky to get the right shots you want. Some of these are the uh, drony shots. I've got a Mavic Mini. It's got the built-in shots. Uh, upgraded the uh, or put a winch on it. The Warren 12 S. Uh, it's got the synthetic rope. Added the uh, roto packs on the side. Got one on the top. It's a water bottle on the top. Got the uh, traction boards. Uh, found out they had them in different colors, and gray was awesome. And uh, I love the uh, cushioned open of the rear tailgate. This is uh, tying down the tonneau cover. I try to make it as simple as possible. Uh, they just go around the handle edges on the back. Um, that tonneau cover is a bikini top that I had for the Wrangler. Um, I used it twice. Both times I used it with the doors off and the tops off on the Wrangler. It rained ridiculous on the way home and I got nothing but soaked because it didn't have the crossbars or the support. 
I bought the uh, the decked drawer system for the back of the bed. Um, I'm kind of a short person, um, and it's hard for me to reach over the edges without a, a step stool or some kind of elevation. So this makes it really convenient for me to be able to get to the a lot of the stuff. Plus, it helps keep it hidden. It keeps it out of the weather. I've got uh, power tools and some other tools in there, spare parts and hardware. Uh, the deck system came with the rails, or I bought the rails, it's, I think it's an option, uh, with tie-downs. The tonneau cover I guess, is from the, uh, the Wrangler. Um, I just strap it down along the side, use the handles of the tonneau covers on one side and the, the uh, traction boards on the other. Um, really easy, kind of convenient. That uh, metal piece there is from the old uh, tonneau cover for the Wrangler. It just sits there. I have a power tank for CO2 to fill up the tires when you air them down. And uh, I showed how I uh, tie this down. It's kind of tricky with using only one hand. Um, trying to hold the other uh, GoPro in the other hand. Uh, I just did a loose fit. The tonneau cover gets actually pretty tight when you do it. Uh, keeps the rain off. It uh, wash, or, uh, drains off pretty good. And it doesn't flop or flop when you're driving highway speeds at all it uh, it's quite quite uh, functional um, and since I already had it no extra money spent um, this is kind of just uh, when I figured out how to put it on I was just winging it I'm like oh, I can stick that through there and pull that through there and lo and behold everything works out uh, the rack system I'll have to look up the rack information I'll post it here um, it came with that uh, light bar or bought it and uh, that's the light bar in use, snowing really bad. There it is from an aerial shot. The uh, rack system has the crossbars or the load bars on it. Um, I had to modify or make stanchions to get the uh, awning to sit on there so I could get the door open without it actually hitting. Um, it hangs down quite a bit, but uh, there you go. That's the same material I use for the... Uh, the uh, seat delete that uh, is coming up here when I do the interior portion. Still got to lop off that end a little bit. So the first accessory I bought for the truck was the dead pedal. I don't remember. It's the Mountain Off-Road Enterprises dead pedal. Um, there wasn't a lot of accessories for this vehicle when I first got it in uh, 2019 uh, November approximately two years ago this month this week um, and the first thing I noticed coming from my 09 Wrangler was I needed a dead pedal it had to have something to put my foot so that's the first modification or upgrade I did uh, since then I've added quite a bit um, this is like a lot of gladiators you've seen um, one accessory I bought, besides the dead pedal, was the rear view mirror display because, as you can see, you really can't see out the back with the uh, rack on and the, and the tonneau cover covering it. So I bought that, and the cool thing about this guy, so you can switch between the front view, rear view, and inside. Or all three which I wouldn't recommend doing that while you're driving it could get really cluttered and cumbersome but that being said it's really convenient uh, you can also scroll up scroll down put the image where you want it so when you down offload the uh, video if you ever have to you've got full screen not just that little narrow piece which is kind of cool I installed the uh, 67 Designs uh, rail, actually these uh, arms are 67 Designs, the uh, rail is not. I'll have to uh, look that up so I can remember what, uh, I looked that up so I know what it is, uh, get you the information. Um, but the 67 Designs stuff is for an iPad for uh, GPS, I have a uh, tire pressure monitor system installed so I can monitor the pressures of the trailer and the truck 
Uh, the truck has it on board. Um, however, the onboard tends to be not accurate or not the same. Uh, Midland Radio got it, installed it. It's really great. It's better than a CB. It's better than one of the little handhelds, but it works with the little handheld on GMSR or GSMR frequencies. Uh, this has the uh, I think it's 15 watt max you know typical jeep stuff it's got the uh window controls in the middle of the console instead of on the door i asked the dealer why they did that his explanation was because you take the doors off if you're taking the doors off don't you want the switches to go with it because if you don't have doors what are the switches for anyway i'll see what else i put the uh these panels in for uh, sound deadening and uh, temperature, I guess. I don't know what it does for the temperature, but it does keep the resident frequency down quite a bit. Um, dog tends to like it a little better. It's um, quieter. That being said, um, that's kind of the uh, inside front. Let's uh, go check out the back and show you the modifications I did to the, the rear, took the seats out. So, as you can see, I don't have a rear seat. And I built this uh, seat delete system myself. Kind of uh, stole the idea from a system I saw online. Didn't want to pay the uh, 950 bucks for the both sides um, that they were advertised for. So I kind of looked at the pictures online and reverse engineered it. Uh, I guess I'm kind of like uh, China and Russia in that regard because they don't design stuff themselves. They just steal it uh, Do I feel guilty? Not really um, I didn't really steal the design. I just stole the idea and uh, did my own um, I'll take the uh, crates out and show you kind of more of what it looks like So as you can see It's all aircraft grade aluminum uh, that's what I used because it's kind of what I had laying around. Um, I uh, kind of an aircraft buff. These are all aircraft rivets. Uh, the kind that you buck, not the kind that are pop rivets. Um, again, this is a uh, kind of a, I guess, rip off, if you will, of someone else's design. But uh, it works for me. And, didn't cost me as much. I was going to use plywood, but the uh, marine type plywood, which is the, I think I was looking at the quarter inch thick, was quite expensive. I did this all before uh, COVID hit, and uh, like I said, I had all this aluminum anyway, so I basically made frames and uh, I riveted it together with my tools extra hat I got some other spare parts um, I've got a hole that goes through so that I can uh, stick long stuff in here if I need to for security uh, I kind of need to finish it up put some uh, things in there where I can get to the uh, or get them opened easier uh, that side over there I have to put a little thing right there so I can lift it up because I can't get my fingernail underneath it but it, uh, it works well. It does exactly what I need it to do. And uh, keeps the tools secure, hidden away, and all that good stuff. The, uh, I put this uh, deadening stuff, which came with this system. I didn't use all of it on here, because I knew I needed to put on here. And as you can hear, that one doesn't make near as much noise as that does um, I then put a uh, essentially a dog blanket over it to uh, even keep it more quiet so on this side it's pretty much the same it's a bigger bigger opening and uh, use that and I put the deadening tape on there it's kind of like dynamat I guess but I don't think it's dynamat brand got uh, other tools in here I was watching uh, trail recon good YouTube channel 
uh, gave me the idea for this bag. It wasn't cheap, but it's pretty, pretty cool. It, uh, it's got pretty much all the tools I need for hand tools. Um, I've got power tools in the, the deck system and in the drawers back in the back if I need them. But uh, yeah, it keeps it. Uh, you can see I got plenty enough room. Um, You'll see my markup lines for drilling holes, and of course, I missed and uh, whatever. But yep, it's in there. It's good. It's not going anywhere. It's really not bolted down, but it's once I got the crates in here, it's uh, not going anywhere. Um, so let me show you what I do to put stuff in here. That uh, bracket there is to uh, hold the cooler tie down. I'll show you how that works real quick. Oh, I don't want to fit. Because it goes this way. Ding dong. That hole there was for a uh, tie down to keep the crates from moving around, but figured once I put them in and I back this up, they uh they don't move well you can see they slide a little bit or we're sliding a little bit but uh, they don't really move that much um abrasion on the seats uh, a little bit of wear and tear i don't think it's going to be much of an issue um to me it's not anyway if i go to resell the vehicle I'll, i kept the rear seat so it'll go back in um if the people who buy it want this at that time then I guess I'll sell it to them that way. So I'm adding the camera up on the window with a suction cup so I can do this without having to hold the camera and getting crappy video. Hopefully it works out. This is the dog blanket I told you about. Just fold it up. Right in. Send it across. Fight the wind. Like I always seem to do, I cut this, uh, this is kind of a generic quick way to get this in there and get it to fit right. I cut corners a lot, probably shouldn't, but I do just get the job done. Go back and do it later. Something's worth doing, it's always worth doing twice, right? No, that's not good. So let me show you where that cooler goes. So I'll put the, the dog blanket in and uh, cut that hole. That's where a strap goes for the, the cooler. Let me uh, put that cooler in there so you can get a good idea of that. The wind's going to blow this in my face, I can tell. My little Rode 20. Uh, got an REI credit card that builds up points and uh, I got this with that one year and then I got a big 30 liter Yeti cooler that uh, is very very handy very invaluable I use these little tension straps that uh, I don't remember where I got these I think I got them at the surplus store might have got them at REI I got this one here and I got this one here they're uh, quite handy. I run it up to the child safety uh, tether point and uh, basically just put it on and of course I got it upside down. Anyway, doesn't matter. Cinch it up. Holds it back to there. It's in there tight. It's not going anywhere. Good deal. Well, on this side, the, uh, the blanket's a little bit bigger than probably needs to be, but it's not that big of an issue. I can tuck it underneath here and just kind of tuck it in. And mainly it's just to keep the, the noise vibration down on the when you're driving down the road. They tend to vibrate. Even with the crates in, they, they get a little, a little annoying. So this provides quite a bit of soundproofing. 
when the creek goes in and uh, in this creek I've got my bug out bag some rope some uh, what is that five, 521 cord whatever they call that but, uh, good stuff got pants jacket survival gear straps all the good stuff in your bug out bag it's a good place to keep it main reason for this uh, whole thing was to get the storage plus get a nice place for the dog to be able to travel these fit in here pretty decent these are uh, just thick cardboard from I think from the deck system or some something I bought but uh, they fill in the gap so when I put the dog bed on it's flat it doesn't have all these bumps uh, that's uh, plastic wear and jacket and some other stuff not very organized I need to become more organized it's on my bucket list this guy goes in like that back all the way sand went to the beach a couple times and dog trapes in sand that is a uh, pelican case with some special gear in it we'll talk about that later you know it's not weapons and you put the dog bed in got room back here for storage um, I keep my tripod got some extra gear room right there it's really good I can still get to the Bluetooth speaker which I really don't use um, yet much something like that and there you go and run the seat back all the way to hold everything in it's tight and good to go So that's my uh, that's my modifications. There's not a lot of other stuff I've done to the truck. The three inch lift, the winch, the deck system, the rack. I got the uh, LED light bar on the rack, which is uh, came from no, it didn't come from the company from the rack, but it uh, it's pretty bright. It's uh, it's really bright. Yeah, I didn't talk about the uh, the first aid kit, uh, the MyMedic first aid kit. I think I got the smaller to medium sized one. Uh, it's got everything in it. It's uh, pretty robust. Um, I'm a big advocate of having good first aid. Got my O2 in case I'm up at altitude and uh, can't breathe too well or just need a shot of oxygen. Comes in really handy. Of course the fresh valve that uh, opens the thing is gone but you can still make it work and get some oxygen if you need to for emergency use so you might be wondering if uh, how hard it is or easy it is to get into the cooler when uh, everything's in here it's pretty easy you just loosen the strap undo it like that pull a little bit up get the thing off you can get in get your pop get your drinks Put stuff in there, your lunch if you bring it. But typically, if you're going to do lunch, you're going to have the thing out of the truck. But it's really easy to get to and really easy to open. It's not uh, inhibited in any way, really. Kind of, I did a lot of thinking about putting this thing in here and where things would go. So it uh, works pretty good for me. We're doing a check. We're doing a test. We're doing cash. Let's see what that looks like. Mm. 
Let's see if I can turn on those. Gives me a little more ambient. Does it need to be ambient? Hello, ambient. Hello. Let's see what that sounds sounds like. Yeah. Turn it off. Are you focusing?